Good evening, everyone. So, evening. as we all know, I've, and we have heard the phrase that actions speak louder than words, and it's a very common phrase and it's self-explanatory that what we do and our gesture speaks more than what we want to say. Do you know that in our daily conversation, only seven percent of our messages conveyed through words, thirty-five percent through tone, and rest fifty-five percent is conveyed through non-verbal actions and gestures. These stats were taken from Mehrabian's model, communication model. In this model, he states that non-verbal communication is more significant than what we really want to say. I come from a country where people give less attention in teaching their children how language can, how body language can impact their daily lives, both both in positive and negative manner. In the past five years of my life, as I recall, I've lost many valuable opportunities and bonds due to my improper body language. and ignoring its importance in my daily life so if i were to capture you right now in this very moment i would ask you look at yourself right now how you're standing and sitting right now what's the expression on your face and i would say like how people will judge you right now like will they say that you have a very friendly and approachable nature or you are somebody no uh, to not to be messed with So most people remember visuals more than they remember what we actually say or what they hear. Mm-hmm. So communic- body language is a communication which involves conscious and subconscious gestures and actions of an individual and it all it all takes place apart from what we really communicate through verbal expressions. So let me start by explaining what body language really is. Body language is a manner in which one presents itself oneself in f- front of his audience. with a set of non-verbal expressions gestures and actions we may communicate through words we speak but the person listening can read through our actions and form a judgment what one really wants to say according to ashley tolio a communication specialist there are many ways in which human express themselves but non-verbal cues constitute the major portion of it it's a uh, she say uh, she in his in, in her article she says that Non-verbal communication can affect our words as it can reiterate our message, contradict our words, reinforce a statement, and it can substitute the meaning of a statement, and it can change the meaning of a statement in a positive or it can complement what we really want to say. And so, moving on, now I will talk about how having control over one one's body language could enhance intimacy in personal relationships and increase your chances to excel in any professional field. So. A couple of years back, um, I'm a I'm a lyricist and I write for fun and I posted some songs on YouTube and any many other social media platforms, and they all got good response. But the best response came from this person, who was a manager of a small recording label, and uh, he contacted me on social media and uh, he said that he liked my work, uh, liked my work and appreciated it. He asked me if uh, I can have a chat with him in person. I was very happy because in professional teams, in uh, in professional terms, it just means that he wanted to do a meeting and set up me, set me up for an interview, and he wants to sign me for a label. Hmm. And I was very happy and told my friends and family about it. So on our first meeting, I went to his studio. I was sitting there, and when we were discussing terms and conditions and what he really wants me to do, so he was looking at me again and again. and i kept swinging my eyes off him because i don't know why i did that but i did i have a bad habit when i'm nervous i tap my feet and it ge- it gives a bad impression of what i really what i'm what i really am ma'am because it was my first time in i was in an interview environment where i was kind of being interviewed and i was nervous and during the class 2 when we were discussing about body language professor pointed me out and i was as i was slouching in my chair and he asked me like what message do i really really convey like, sitting like that so he liked my work and told me that he wanted to do a single track with me first and then if it went well he will sign me on his label wow i thanked him and while i was while i was uh, rushing out of his place he could see that i was restless because i just wanted to go home and tell my family and friends about it and it gave a bad projection of a of whether i really appreciated it or not so during the recording session i did my part i spent hours writing that song 
because it was really close to me and uh, i wouldn't want to miss this opportunity i did my part and while i was sitting with him and he was doing the mix mastering still slouching by the way <laughs> so i did my part and being a professional he was giving me advice on how to excel in this field for my benefit and me being me i kept checking time checking my phone what i gave a i gave a image that i wasn't listening to him but i was but he thought that i wasn't interested in all that so when the track was done i had this feeling that he was disappointed or something from the look on his face oh, no. so i asked him is anything wrong he said no everything's fine the track will be posted tomorrow and if it goes well we'll have a meeting about signing you to the label and i was happy about the track i told everyone and the track came out and it got a good response after two weeks i called him and asked him about the meeting but he said that he decided that he cannot sign me on his label when i asked for the reason he said because you have a bad body language which is totally unprofessional and you take things way more casually than they really are oh. and he said that he cannot have this at his workplace he said that he wanted to sign me on the first day and on the day we finished the track but he said that you presented yourself in a way which made me give it a second thought so that was the time it hit me and because i have due to my actions i have lost a golden opportunity as it would have been a huge breakthrough for me so now i would now i would tell you about how to improve your body language even though i don't know right now too but i researched it <laughs> I researched it and I talked to my friends about it. So I so uh, there was my friend his name is Shreyu and I asked him to so, pretend that he's an employer and interview me and ask me questions and then tell me where did I go wrong. I researched it on a couple of websites. So that's it. Some examples of positive body languages like maintaining a good posture makes you feel makes the other person feel that you're engaged in a conversation making an eye contact while having a conversation is an important other important factor to keep in mind this will this will indicate that the person how sincere and engaged you are using hand gestures while talking not only helps to make the conversation more lively but it also indicates the willingness to communicate mm -hmm. touching the face is very is a is an avoidable thing that we can do maintaining a good smile goal goes a long way so to wrap up i would like to say that although we communicate through words but many other things in our body speaks for themselves like our gestures and all of the non verbal cues and having mastery over one's body language one can excel in any field whether it be professional academic or making bonds so to all of the listeners out there i just wanted to convey this message that a good a good poster makes you look confident a good eye contact makes the speaker feel wanted and think you are engaged in a conversation nodding while listening makes the speaker think that you are listening to his or hers his or her words with interest a good smile is the best filter you can wear on the face and it creates a lively atmosphere between one another thank you i'm so sorry to hear that happen though can you go back and try to he was back in india i moved here like 9 months ago right so it was a couple of years back so in india he said that to you yeah but so was he indian too cuz wouldn't an indian understand an indian's body language he said that i was way too casual uh, i took things way too casual and i wasn't <laughs> interested <laughs> and i don't know at that time maybe did you want it or it just I really wanted it I really wanted it but my and your body language didn't communicate that you wanted it I wanted it but uh, my actions pretended that I didn't want sure it. you wanted it Yeah I wanted it Wow I wanted to pursue a career in it but it blew off And have you continued trying to pursue it Uh I'm writing stuff but here I don't have any contacts that Uh, 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 don't don't tell me that I don't have any. Are you pursuing it still? Yeah, that, that's the test of if you really want something. Even yeah. if a hundred doors close, you still go after it, right? Yeah, I still write stuff, but you're not getting that what you could have gotten through. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry because those opportunities are so rare. 
Anyway, thank you for sharing. Thank you for self-disclosing.